the self-proclaimed role model. A proven role model. The following contest is a triple threat match. Making her way to the ring, representing Damage Control from San Jose, California, the NXT Women's Champion, Bayley. Bayley carries herself with such confidence. Yeah, more like arrogance, always yelling about how great she is. Yeah, and it's usually me that she's yelling at. Oh, Cole, she's simply speaking her truth. Bailey knows how good she is and acts appropriately. We'll see if she'll rely on her skill or shortcuts tonight. Ooh, Cole, you are going to get such a scolding tonight. Here comes Alexa Bliss. And Lily, too. Ugh. And her opponents, first from Columbus, Ohio, Alexa Bliss. It seems like Alexa is back from the dark side, but she brought back a friend, Lily. Uh, I wish she hadn't. Oh, don't be jealous, Saxton. We know your favorite doll recently popped. We are about to see five feet of fury unleashed. And that is bad news for Alexa's opposition. Get your cameras ready. Tiffany Stratton is here. Beauty, grace, athleticism, and skill. Tiffy has it all. Tiffany Stratton! Tiffany Stratton, one of the quickest learners in NXT history. She made her NXT debut within weeks of entering the Performance Center, becoming NXT Women's Champion just a year and a half later. Already possessing athleticism on another level, Stratton takes every opportunity to get better. Scary how impressive she is as an in-ring competitor this early in her career. Three of WWE's top competitors ready for this triple threat match. In this one, it'll be Bailey, Alexa Bliss, and Tiffany Stratton. It's all about outsmarting and outlasting two opponents to claim victory here. So you gotta make sure you don't get too far ahead of yourself. Into a sidewalk slam! Oh, awesome. Put into the corner now. <laughs> Averting danger with an elbow to the stomach. Got a hold of the arm, just wrenching. Oh, man, an arm breaker takes him down. <laughs> Great counter by Alexa. Back and forth, back and forth, looking for the advantage here. Hold on! <laughs> Up and sit out power bomb. Goes into the pin. She breaks the count quick. She likely knew that wasn't enough. She's just keeping the pressure on. She's going up. Top rope hit from the top rope. She's clutching a back. What, is there a splitting good star over there? As easy as it may seem to come into a no DQ match with no plan other than to get violent, strategy can play a role in this. Now's the time for a superstar to get inventive, to get creative when it comes to inflicting damage on their opponents. Suplex. 
submission leg sweep. to the gut. Thrown back in under the ropes. Hits the drop kick. Battling ringside, and our announce table's getting shaky. That's because Byron is quivering in fear next to me. I get nervous when the fight comes out here, guys. Ouch! There it is. Snap suplex. Is it enough? Not getting a two count at this point has to be frustrating. Section. Hit on that slam. Uh oh. Look out. Oh. Simple but effective. Uh oh. What a hurt to run. It's incredible the inventiveness we are seeing on display here. Back in the ring now. Bliss gripping the neck into the STO. Oh, Bliss counters. Power drop kick. Ah, oh, takedown. And now punches right. Vicious, aggressive attacks. And any one of those shots could take you out for good. Ah, oh, look at this. Hair pulled net slam. Just disrespectful. Making a mockery of your opponent could eventually backfire. Elbow finds its mark. Just rubbing salt in the wound now. I don't know if they're going to have any taste buds left after that. German, she thinks she has it. And there's the breakup, just in the nick of time. Oh, my Lord! Oh, Matt Slam with some attitude. Dodged right on cue. No telling what's underneath. That was a vicious display. You can almost see the disdain in their eyes. She's in the ring now. Bailey's got her hooked with a Bailey flex. Up high and seated by Onyx Elba. Ouch. What a tank down the... Oh, she breaks the hold. <laughs> Lighten up the chest and now... Straight to the knee. Ooh, got clipped by the thrown candlestick. She's starting to tire a little. This should come as no surprise. In a havoc-filled triple threat, you're going to take some big hits. Bailey putting it all on the line. Uh-oh. Oh, my God, what a move. Oh, look at this. Creativity applied with the wrist clutch lever. And there's the breakup. Just in the nick of time. Slap! Oh, reversal catches Tiffany. Oh, the jaw getting rattled. Saw that one coming. She flips it back on her. Whatever's playing here can't be good. Put down a face first. To the face will create separation. Stops the kick. Double axe handle. Catches the kick. Look at this going counter for counter. Uh oh, submission move. Fujiwara. Rolls through. Clever escape and a knee. Uh -oh. 
Oh, uh, Tiffany manages to counter. Now looking for something to waylay her opponent with. She's produced a sledgehammer. She is aiming to come shoulders down. This could be the one that does it for her. Bailey gets it done. Here is your winner, Bailey. The WWE Universe showing appreciation as all three competitors after an amazing triple threat match. I think it was fairly apparent early on that she was going to do anything she had to do in order to get the win in this triple threat. And A young star with plenty of accolades. The youngest United States champion and the youngest Money in the Bank winner in WWE history. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Atlanta, Georgia, weighing in at 220 pounds, Austin. A dominant competitor, but terrible at the commentary table. Come on! It looks like Theory brought all of his friends in the ring with him tonight. Oh, watch your mouth, Cole. You are looking at the youngest United States champion and Mr. Money in the Bank ever. How did that cash in go? Well, that... I can't... Well, I, I don't have that information readily available. Usually the guys at 2K are great about giving me the stats. I, I, I'll get back to you. Gallus is here, and they are ready for a fight. And his opponent, representing Gallus from Glasgow, Scotland, weighing in at 255 pounds, Wolfgang! The recklessly dangerous team of Gallus looking focused tonight. There's no telling what sort of damage they'll deal out in this match. This guy has to be on guard against Theory, a competitor who is not above cutting corners to get what he wants. Agile big man Wolfgang ready to get into a fight. Men built like Wolfgang really shouldn't move the way he does, but that's what Wolfgang's all about. Defying expectations and physics, apparently. 
And across the ring from him, you've got Austin Theory. If you added up all the ingredients to make the perfect superstar, Theory would most likely be your end result. Perfect might be a bit of a stretch, Corey. While Theory is obviously talented, his arrogance can often cloud his judgment and cause him to make mistakes. He needs to focus here if he wants to live up to the hype. He's got him scouted. And Theory able to adapt. And the corner he goes, a perfectly placed target. He manages to escape it. Orb smash in the corner. There's a line to the back of the neck. Look ringside now, guys. This manager's doing something very suspicious. Forearm after forearm, vicious attack. Showing absolutely no mercy at all. What an onslaught. Oh my goodness! Ah, what a smash! That is just insulting. Insulting. The disrespect can be tasted in their mouth. Oh no! Now possibly setting up for a submission maneuver. A single leg camel clutch and a great counter. Power slam! To give the devil his due, I'll admit that Austin Theory is quite the impressive in-ring talent, especially for his age. But, Corey, I have to imagine that his relative lack of experience could potentially cause him some problems in the long run here. You actually got a point, Cole. Theory's a standout talent for sure. But for as sure as himself as he rightfully is, he still has some holes in his game. When it comes to in-ring IQ and that kind of ring awareness, Theory can be at a disadvantage. And this might not have a pleasant ending. Launched face first. He can pin his opponent right here. Fending off a two count there. He's nowhere near ready to stop fighting yet. Ooh. Big boot. Wolfgang's strategy paying dividends. And that's called using your in-ring IQ to get the job done against Theory. Found some holes in Theory's game. Oh! He's outside the ring now. Hope he's got a plan. Wolfgang might be waking up. Wolfgang tipping the scales a bit here. Two. Oh, what incredible power. Wow, what a vertical Three. suplex. What a barrage of stops. Putting the boots to an opponent will take the fight out of them in a hurry. Carefully placed stomp to the arm. There he's lost any momentum here. Wolfgang cashing in on his opportunities. Need to hustle back to the ring. Just a few seconds left. Into the ring again. Ah, oh, and he's back in. Beat him. You in the ropes forced to break. He did not want to be caught up in that submission any longer. Ah, oh, and a stop. Does the official not see him removing the turnbuckle pad? Keep your voice down. He leaves the ring, but he could lose this match by count out. shorten someone's career. Immediately powers out. An almost instantaneous kick out there. A lot of work left to do. Drops the hammer. Right on the lower back. Trap the arm. Into the neck breaker. Cover. No shoulders up at two. Somehow, some way. Wolfgang expected that one. Looking for a suplex here to set up a cutter. Just muscling up their opponent into the gut wrench suplex. The amount of force behind that is enough to knock a normal person out. Just mounted with punches and not, oh, a nasty stop to finish it off. Austin Theory hoisting him up. Great buster on the knee. Theory showing off there with that move. Looking good and being effective. That's what he's doing. Three, no. And you got to think, he's just one final blow away from not kicking out next time. Theory's got a plan to end this. 
Kick to the gut. I have a theory what's coming next. Attacks here. Can Theory close this? Cover. Two count. No, oh, he kicked out. Unbelievable presence of mind. I thought he was unconscious. And Theory clearly thought he had it there. He might have to consider a new strategy at this point. Hey. Uh-oh. for these gladiators known. Punch to the stomach and stopped in their tracks. Front face lock applied. It's about to get more painful. Oh, oh. Jeez. Take all the wind out of you. Front face lock applied. Hoisted up. Suplex position. But planted with a urinagi. Will that keep Theory grounded? And again! That may be one of the biggest wins of his career. Here is your winner, Wolfgang! Wolfgang cementing the win in this one. Wolfgang looks downright unstoppable after this. The LWO looking to turn up the heat tonight. They're already feeling it. Already feeling the energy of the crowd. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. On the way to the ring at a combined weight of 365 pounds. Joaquin Wilde and Cruz Del Toro. The LWO. Paying homage to the original founding fathers of the LWO. This is a team that represents their Latino culture openly and proudly. They become a family of sorts, Michael. They win together, they lose together, but they always fight together.
Chase U is here. We're all about to get a lesson. And there are folks, accompanied by Thea Hale at a combined weight of 469 pounds. Andre Chase and Duke Hudson, Chase University. Saxon, why don't you go try out as a cheerleader for Chase U? I did already. They said no. And the Chase U section is firmly behind their representatives tonight. I'd hate to be the class clowns facing them tonight. is in session for Chase U, and tonight their opponents have some tough lessons in store. You can certainly learn a lot watching Andre Chase and Duke Hudson at work. As long as they avoid distraction and follow the lesson plan, Chase U might just earn a passing grade tonight. Well, the LWO is in the building, and we all know this team is strong. Strong separately, but even stronger together. They represent a culture, represent each other, and they represent the WWE Universe. And I think they're going to make everyone proud tonight. Oh, Set wow. hard into the ring post. Oh, hanging off for dear life. No oh, alley oop bomb. I felt here he goes for the win. And he gets the shoulder up before two. Not even a near fall there. Oh my gosh! One hand! I don't think people realize the amount of strength it takes to hurl someone like that. Placing them right where they want them, into the corner. Overhead, belly to belly. Tags him in. Oh, and a spear! Andre just rubbing it in now. goes to show you how much speed kills. Andre wards that attack off. The referee continues the count, may call it soon. We almost just saw a count out. And what a minute. Here's the cover. He gets the shoulder up at two. Couldn't quite slam the door yet. Oh, targeting the arm. This has got to hurt. Trying to fight with a hurt arm is no easy task. Right across the face. Oh, that's a kick that would leave you gasping for air. Moonsault on the mark. There he goes, right into the corner. Uh-oh. Face full of turnbuckle. Counters that. Neck breaker excellently executed. Gonna send their opponent into the other turnbuckle. Oh, reverse his course. Crushing clothesline. And a rolling neck snap. Oh, wrist lock up to the top row. Top row. 
And it looked like Chase might have made a miscalculation there. That's a real showcase of Del Toro's talent. Solely focused on... Ooh! Payne must be shooting through that leg now. Inverted atomic drop. Ooh! Kick to the gut. Cracked around into a neck breaker. Tag switching it up. There's incredible impact with every maneuver Cruz delivers. Into the corner now. And that's what we call the tree of woe position, folks. And Duke pays for leaving an opening. Caving in the abdomen. Tag is registered. He's getting fired up now, really feeding off this crowd. He could pin his opponent right here. It's over. Wow. Bottom rope for a moonsault. Andre is unable to stop this string of offense. If Chase can just weather this storm, he'll be fine. Chase able to avert that. to the jaw. Oh, he retaliates. Oh, atomic drop. Firm control. Brutal boot. In off the tag. Picture perfect drop kick. Big elbow. Oh, Hudson creates an opportunity. Getting carried around, bad spot to be in. Oh, so for the victory here. And still in this. How in the world did he kick out? How did scouted? Watch out. Running swinging neck breaker. Oh, wicked kick to the lower back. That catch is wild looking. Dismantling the arm in the corner. Gotta hurt. Race lock applied in the corner. Check out this power. Overhead, belly to belly. Here he goes for the win. And there's the save. He went right into that turnbuckle. Uh-oh. Face first. Great win with ball on the counter. He's starting to struggle here. This is what the purpose of a tag team is. Don't be afraid to use the resources and help your partner offers. Am I being diplomatic enough, Cole? Boom! Oh. Kick right to the midsection. This is just establishing dominance, followed by a stop. Duke's fully intent on ending things here. 
in position and now muscling up their opponent for a devastating crucifix bomb. Makes the cover. He wins! He wins! Here are your winners. Andre Chase and Duke Hudson. Chase University! An emphatic victory for your winners. An impressive effort from this duo. Two men with one common goal can be a dangerous thing. They're putting the entire locker room on notice. Uh, referee calls to the bell. We're underway. The referee goes down just oh, like no. that. It's a hazardous environment for an official. Someone's going to get seriously hurt if this continues like this. That's so exciting, isn't it, Cole? Is that an official start? The referee was able to start the match, so we are proceeding with this match. We all know just how much a calculated attack like that could affect the course of this match. Getting a leg up on the competition is the name of the game, Saxton. Work smarter, not harder. McIntyre gets met with a response. Oh, the powerbomb's not meant to be pretty, but oh man, does it get the job done. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they don't want to be taking any more of those. He turns it around. Taking it to the shoulder. Getting set up for something in the corner. Gulak sidesteps. Gulak turns it around. Oh, what a DDT. Uh-oh. Oh, to the back of the neck. What a lariat. Chop. Uh-oh. What a takedown. Fujiwara armbar. Ah, uh, Fujiwara armbar applied. Pulverizing the arm is a great way to create an advantage, basically forcing your opponent to fight one-handed. If Drew Gulak wants to pick up the win tonight, he needs to control the pace. A methodical approach will ensure his opponent's destruction. I think you're onto something there, Corey, and I'm sure Gulak would love the opportunity to slowly pull apart his opponent. Counters out. Close line. Climbing up top. He's got big plans. And countouts are legal, so hopefully this will be a short trip outside. Scoop slam, making it look easy. Evading offense. Oh man, right to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. Dropping the elbow right on the knee. He's heading to the floor, but he can't take his time. And all of Gulak's in-ring knowledge couldn't get him out of harm's way there. Oh, that hurt right to the kidney. Golly. Oh, impressive counter. Tossed back into the ring. Ooh, sharp elbow. 
Each shot landing with a little bit more venom. It looks like we've got ourselves a brawl here. Back and forth, neither one giving up any ground. Two Titans trading strikes and refusing to back down. This could spell doom for McIntyre. Drew Gulak, the Gulak. Drew Gulak with a Gulak, the submission locked in. It looks like the Scottish Warrior. Up, rolls through, nice escape. Ooh. This could do it. What is the ref doing? Don't worry about that now. Get down and count. And he fights it off. I am in shock. What's it going to take to keep this guy down? Close line in the corner. He's getting pushed down into the defensive. Drew making clear he came for a fight, and he's not satisfied yet. There's some power behind that punch. The competitive spirit is alive and well in this one. Yeah, I think these superstars are actually fairly eager to test themselves against one another. That means they recognize each other as being legitimate threats to their own ambitions. Up high! Countered and planted with a well-timed power slam. Oh, a nasty stop to finish it off. Suplex! Oh, watch this power. Oh, oh my goodness, into the power bomb. And Drew Gulak isn't being given any room to recover. Scary to think what Drew has in store next. <laughs> Good night. McIntyre might have him, cover. Yes, Drew McIntyre wins it. Here is your winner, the Scottish Warrior, Drew McIntyre. Well, you can't help but think it was the cheap shot that secured the victory here tonight. And how can you even celebrate a win as tainted as this one? With eyes full of wrath and fury, here comes Ilya Dragunov. The following is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Moscow, Russia. Weighing in at 187 pounds. Ilya Dragunov! There are not many superstars more ferocious than Ilya Dragunov. Well, that ferocity, Saxton, has led Dragunov to the NXT UK Championship. Let's see if it brings him more success tonight. Hey, this dude's been called the Unstoppable Czar. 
A title that he has earned due to his supreme physical conditioning. We've also learned that Ilya Dragunov has a volatile temper inside the ring. You're right, Byron. That's a trait that Dragunov has used to his advantage. Uh, there is no putting out the fire that burns inside of Dragunov. The king of strong style. Ready to deliver big hits and get the big win. That's the only way he knows how. And his opponent from Kyoto, Japan. Weighing in at 220 pounds. Shensuke Nakamura. A Royal. Held multiple championships. A top elite level competitor all over the globe. After all these years, a veteran who hasn't lost any of his edge. Shinsuke is battle tested and looks ready for more. This version of Shinsuke Nakamura has become more villainous and more nefarious. Well, Shinsuke has finally become the main event star we knew he would be. Ilya Dragunov ready to bring his aggressive style to his opponent here tonight. Dragunov has to be one of the toughest competitors in WWE. Few can match his intense and relentless. Uh-oh, submission move. Fujiwara trying to find a way out. And he's out and delivers a knee. Yeah. Able to parry that one. What goes up must come down, and it sure as hell did right there. Getting the shoulder up before two tells me the end is not near. Oh, wow, the reversal by Shinsuke Nakamura. He skirts around it. Set up in the corner of the ring. Oh, targeting the stomach. Puts the boot to the midsection. from Shinsuke Nakamura. And what do you have to do to account for the intangibles that Ilya Dragunov brings to the table? Ilya Dragunov is a literal man without fear, which is not ideal. But he's rarely the bigger man in a match. You'll never get him to quit, but if you bring the fight, you should be able to beat him outright. Boom! What a right! Oh, what a chop! That'll let you up. Kick to the abdomen. Boot to the stomach. Jarring. And that looked like it shook Shinsuke's foundation a bit. Can he score the pin? He's able to kick out before two. Not time to expect victory yet. Uh-oh. This isn't going to be pretty. Suplex! Crashing down with the senton. Shifts it back onto him. He's been placed in the corner now. Stuck in the corner, teeing off a series of brutal kicks. It's the inverted power slam. Shinsuke reminding us why he's the one they call the king of strong style. The cover, shoulders down. A kick out to stay alive. He's determined to keep this matchup going. Nakamura looking to go air. 
Perched up top. Oh, my! Oh, man, right to the arm. Hyper extends your elbow. He's struggling a bit here. You really can't overstate the sheer force that Nakamura can hit you with. Elbow throw, saying not today. Ilya toying with his opponent a little bit. Boom, running STO plants him. Nicely done. Jarring impact. He's heading up top. Thinking big. Take off. One fight. Cover. One, two. And a kick out at two. Somehow, some way, he is still in this. Nakamura escapes the attack. Kinshasa! Nakamura right on target. The cover. The ref isn't even paying attention. Never mind what you're doing. Make the count. The amount of damage Dragunov can and will take in any given match is unbelievable. And we are seeing that right now. He is still in this. Th Soaring. With the elbow. Time to wallow in disbelief. Pressure must be kept on. Thunderous Lariat. Ooh. Reversal. Can they go up? Nakamura. What do you have to do to put this guy away? Here we go. Nakamura setting up. For the win. Two. No. Kick out at two. Obviously still has some fight left. Three. Oh, a forearm smash. You can see it in these superstars' faces. They're in serious pain at the moment. A lot of punishment has been dished out. But no one is thinking about quitting. And he's able to fight Dragunov off. Dodges the attack just a smidge quicker. What's his plan here? Look at this. Boom. Nice. Ah, oh, caught on the chin. Oh, and then the chest as well. Wrenches the arm. Ooh, nasty kick. Nakamura showing off his patented strong style. Dragunov having the fight brought to him. Might be enough to topple Dragunov tonight. My goodness! That's insulting. Come on! No one likes a count out. That'll stop the count and this match will continue. 
I'm glad that wasn't the end of things. DDT! Nakamura. Uh-oh. Punch straight to the face. Stays off the attack. Kick shots on. Absolutely exhausted. Put everything he had into the match here tonight. And oh, uh, look who's here. Wonder what this man wants. You can feel the tensions rising. Oh my gosh! Can you believe this? This certainly isn't going to put their mind at ease. How on earth do you prepare for this opponent? You don't! This superstar's mind has got to be racing right now. What a shock! I'm shocked! The entire WWE Universe is shocked! How is this even fair? It may not be fair, but it's reality. We're getting a match that we certainly did not expect right here, right now. This match has started, and let's see how they adjust to the last minute change. That was a prime example of why you have to keep your head on a swivel in WWE. Yeah, but I don't think even an owl could have seen that one coming. They're gonna wear down their opponent. Oh, with the heel hook stretch. Uh-oh. He's returning fire. Just carrying the opposition anywhere they want. Drops the hammer right on the lower back. He is looking to do some serious harm. Ah, oh, what a smash. That is just insulting. He eludes the contact. Turning the tables. I don't like the look in his eye here, folks. Here we go. Oh, and a diving hurricane rana. Acrobatics like that take a tremendous amount of cardio and strength. Corey, how do you plan for a superstar like Santos Escobar? Escobar has a hybrid offense, mixing lucha tradition with modern aggression. If you want to defeat him, you need to be able to weather the early storm and not let your guard down. Can't lift anyone at that shoulder. It keeps getting worked on. Here we go! Slingshot crossbody? That was ridiculous! No sign of hesitation, and that risk gained big rewards. And Escobar didn't see that coming. I've been waiting to see that. Short clothesline hits its mark. He's absorbed some damage already. Pitbull mentality of Steiner holding nothing back on that attack. Sharp elbows to the body, looking to fight his way out. Oh, come on. Double count out. This 
one just spiraled out of control. The Judgment Day is here. Everyone in their way is doomed. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. On the way to the ring, accompanied by Rhea Ripley at a combined weight of 439 pounds. The SmackDown Tag Team Champions and the NXT Tag Team Champions Ben Balor and Damian Priest. The Judgment Day. The Judgment Day growing more dominant every single night. And their accolades grow with every match. Now this is a group that's almost impossible to prepare for. The Judgment Day plans for every scenario. Always having each other's back. Well, they create chaos. And Judgment Day thrives in chaos. The Judgment Day truly at the height of their powers. Their accolades continue to grow. Yeah, their list of victims continues to grow as well, Michael. They want to be feared and respected. Well, I don't respect them, but I definitely fear them. Say hello to Imperium. Giovanni Vinci, Ludwig Kaiser, and the ring general, Guter. And their opponents, accompanied by Guter, at a combined weight of 440 pounds, the Raw Tag Team Champions, Giovanni Vinci and Ludwig Kaiser, Imperium! Well, Imperium clearly are not here to have fun, but you have to respect their mission statement of the mat being sacred. 
Oh, I do, but I've seen your matches, Saxton, and you do not respect their mission statement. Have you seen my matches? I definitely consider the match sacred. Oh, my gosh. He's undefeated. Precision offense, incredible in-ring skill. That's the calling card of Imperium. And it is one that has brought them great success. Something I do appreciate about Imperium is that their goal is clear. They're simply here to defend the honor of the ring and dominate the competition. It really is that simple. These are men joined by a shared purpose. They're disciplined, shrewd, and will do what it takes to accomplish what they set out to do. Unfortunately for their opponents, what they set out to do is pull the competition apart limb from limb and leave them battered and broken in the ring. And then we've got the ever-intimidating Judgment Day. They have all the tools they need at their disposal. Power, technical ability, and ruthlessness and they function impressively well as a unit. The Judgment Day knows how to stick to a plan and always keep the upper hand inside the ring. He's got the answer for that one. And set right into the corner. Look at that counter from Ludwig. Oh my gosh! Pinning down their opponent's arm. Vicious knee drop. Measuring. Oh, fake. He can end it here. So oh, no, I thought it was over. Good grief, this is chaotic. Come on, ref. Oh, this is just too far. Get some control in there. Oh, look at his aggression, just pure oh, brutality. Come on, easy. That was just cutting off all the airflow. Just how desperate do you have to be? Why not a fair fight, huh? Such an underhanded tactic there. Kaiser has just taken command. Yeah, now Priest has to fight against the momentum against him. Measuring. Oh, face stopped. Priest gets countered. Oh, what an air cut. Charm. Enable the counter. Excellent opportunity for Priest to shift the momentum. Priest was being tested, but he's now able to get some offense of his own in. Oh, for the arm bar and up. Just stretching out the arm. That can prohibit any use of their shoulder going forward. He had it scouted. Heading up, he's thinking big. And he gets the tag. Well, watch this manager look up high. Some might see that as a weapon, but the manager is just making sure the area is safe for her client. Ah, oh, the stop. And Priest fends him off. Getting him into the corner. Oh, man. Shot right to the midsection. It's got to be demoralizing when you're the combatant on the wrong side of the double team. Maybe you want to rework the game plan about now. That's unnecessary. That showed a complete lack of respect for your competition and for our sport. Makes the cover. He kicks out instantly. Still in it. Uh-oh. Saw it coming and slowed it down with the back elbow. Oh, geez. Nasty kick to the face. Oh, our bar. Oh, she has bad intentions now. Removing the turnbuckle pad. Caught with the elbow. Close it the back of the neck. He moves just in time.
Frying their opponent's arm out. A ah, double stop right to the arm. out the window and it paid off. Adrenaline is through the roof now. Finn gets stopped in his tracks. Finn able to get out of the way. Brought back into the ring from the floor now. Intercepts that attack with a knee right to the stomach. Jaw shattering. He is just reeling from that offense. Yeah, this is exactly why constant, frequent tags are so important in a match like this. To keep fresh. Forks the move by throwing an elbow into the midsection. Left by the turnbuckles. What a drop kick. And got their opponent's arm dropping the knee for more punishment. Vicious right forearm. Able to avoid there. Balor looking to close this one out. Down 19 16. This is it. And he stops the count for his partner. Not expecting that from him at this point. Got him set up in the corner of the ring. Oh, we're going to grind the features off their face. Oh, right across the top row. Ooh. The pressure got Here's the cover for the win. And a strong kick out in one. Somehow still has the energy for a quick kick out. Ludwig Kaiser is sending a clear message here. He's one step ahead there. This is going to get ugly. Ludwig Kaiser with an air. Oh, no, it's roll up. Oh, barely kicks out. He just won't give up. Look at that counter from Ludwig. He was. Did Balor secure a win? Try to end it. He kicked out at two. Within inches of victory, only to have it snatched away. This match just keeps getting more and more exciting. This means Finn has to adjust. Finn needs to reconstruct his game plan. He kicks out before the count starts. What's it going to take to put this match away? Just scrubbing the face on the canvas. And an elbow drop for added measure. Ludwig. That's Bruton. Cannot keep Finn down. That's gotta be it. Across the top rope. What a hot shot. And Priest not quite having the energy to prevent that one. These two teams have gone to war, Cole. Of course they're going to wind up with a few battle scars. Suplex attempt. Able to go behind, though. Escapes and a chop block takes him down. Oh, man. 
No love lost between these superstars right now. Really trying to prove who the better man truly is. Oh, my gosh! And he hightails it to ringside. He certainly has to be piecing together a new game plan now. One, this will do it. Broken arrow. He's tagging out. Yes, tag. Oh. Elbow puts an end to that. Oh, check this out. Ludwig stepping up to the top. From the top rope. And nobody's there. Oh. What, what do you say? I mean, this, this, is, this is amazing. The close of this match is just ahead. Yeah, this is not good. You don't say, Saxton. Off the ropes. Oh, and a big right. Mello is money. The following is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Boston, Massachusetts. Weighing in at 210 pounds, Carmelo Hayes. You hear him say it. You hear the fans say it. Mello, don't miss. Yeah, for once I agree with you, Saxton. Any goal Hayes sets his sights on, he tends to accomplish in short order. And that has only fueled Carmelo's confidence. He believes he was destined for the big time from the very start of his career. Well, he does a good job proving just that when he gets inside the ring.
Tonight might just be Carmelo Hayes' next big victory. Here comes our Tribal Chief. Perhaps the most dominant champion in WWE history. The head of the table, Roman Reigns. And his opponent, representing the Bloodline from Pensacola, Florida. Weighing in at 265 pounds, Roman Reigns. Three plus years at the top of WWE for this man. Nobody has been able to defeat the Tribal Chief. <laughs> A reign of epic proportions. Dozens have tried. Dozens have failed. Think about this. Hall of Famers. Main eventers. Crossover stars. None of them have been able to defeat Roman Reigns. This superstar has a tall order in Carmelo Hayes tonight. Melo's proven to be a very adaptable opponent, so this guy needs to be on his toes. The Tribal Chief, the head of the table, the leader of the bloodline, Roman Reigns in action here tonight. Growing up in a sports entertainment dynasty, Reigns was never going to settle for mediocrity. He made that perfectly clear early in his career. Now, he's king of the mountain and will swat down anyone who dares climb to the summit. Yeah, Corey, and we'll see if Reigns can maintain that position or if he's going to take a tumble down the mountainside. And let's not undersell the talent and threat of a superstar like Carmelo Hayes. A man who knows just how good he is and isn't afraid to let everyone know. You can't take his shine, and he's going to show just why in this one. Shine showboating, a talented competitor for sure, but he also wants everyone to know just how much more talented he is than them. Hopefully, he just focuses on the match. And targeting the leg there. He is getting rid of the turnbuckle pad. Don't say that too loud, Saxon. He might get caught. This match grinded him down a little. Roman not backing down at all. Oh, and a stop. A heel hook. Locked in, you can almost hear the opponents yelling in agony. Ooh, treading all over their opponent. Ooh, and a reversal. My, oh my, what can he score the pin? Uh, maybe. He kicks out with authority. Kicking out so early certainly sends a message. He got whipped into that corner. Ah, oh, flipping the script on him there. And the manager is searching under the ring. He could only be looking for something nefarious down there. Oh, that was just malicious. Insulting. That's going to be a moment you want to forget very soon. And Hayes is in command. This has become all Carmelo. An agile escape. Roman Reigns so dominant. It's just a matter of time now. The guillotine is locked in. The guillotine locked in. This is all. That was an incredible counter. DDT. Big 
forearm. Uh oh. What a takedown. Fujiwara armbar. Oh, Fujiwara armbar applied. Getting the upper hand by taking away your opponents. Looking worse for wear in the corner now. Hayes on the wrong side of that exchange. Just disrespectful. Trying to get that mental edge. You can't let yourself get psyched out. Hayes quick to counter. Carmelo turns out away. And responds with a counter of their own. Shoulder to the gut. Foot to the midsection. Oh, look at this ruthlessness in the bottom turnbuckle. Absolutely no respect from Roman Reigns. Boom. And he throws the opposition back into the ring. He knows how to avoid contact. Boot to the stomach gives them separation. Has them up for the power slam. And Steph delivers the inverted DDT. Avoiding contact. Headbutt to the back of the neck. Oof, and all the impact brought to the knee. position here. You can't prepare your face for that. Hayes is being cut down at every corner. And the overwhelming confidence of Ray. Carmelo Hayes is looked into a cut. Hayes landed that perfectly. Cover! Two! Ah, oh, he was almost finished. A kick out and Reigns is still in this. The big dog still has some fight left. It must be demoralizing knowing you've unleashed your best shot on your opponent to no avail. From the top. Oh, and he doesn't connect. Reigns with a Superman punch. Smash. Send him home. There is no. Oh, I finally got him. I can't believe this match is finally over. Here is your winner, Roman Reigns! It's all over and Reigns stands victorious. He said he would do it. Get used to seeing it. Carmelo Hayes just couldn't fight his way back into this one. We know shooters shoot and Melo's got game, but this is not how he planned this to go down. Chelsea Green, Piper Niven, two women who are not here to make friends. Who needs friends when you're destined for greatness like they are? The following contest is a tag team match set for one fall. On the way to the ring, the team of Piper Niven and Chelsea Green.
Green and Niven possess a continuity that borders the unorthodox, but when they focus on the same target, they get the job done. Yeah, they're united by their desire to rule the women's division at any cost and make the entire WWE universe miserable. Piper Niven, Chelsea Green, ready to put the women's division on notice. An amazing blend of physical dominance and top-level trash talk. Piper and Chelsea can't be stopped. No protection, no sanctuary. Lyra Valkyria has arrived. And their opponents, first from Dublin, Ireland, Lyra Valkyria! Lyra Valkyria has developed a unique style that mixes wild brawling and incredible air attacks. It's this simple. Valkyria comes at you full force and won't stop until the bell rings. The man is here! Becky Lynch never backs down from a fight and as a result has earned everyone's respect. Oh, yeah. And from Dublin, Ireland, Becky Lynch! She is as tough as they come. Yeah, these days the outfits may be a little fancier, but the passion in Lynch remains the same. Perhaps the most popular competitor in women's division history. And always ready to launch an assault, Chelsea Green and Piper Niven are ready for this one. Though unlikely, we can only hope Chelsea keeps her mouth closed. Even her partner Piper Niven can't stand all of her yapping. It's a lot of talk, but this team comes together when you least expect them to, and they wreak havoc on their opposition. But man, are they easy to dislike, especially Chelsea. They are a well-oiled machine that can run a seminar in tag team wrestling. They certainly pose a real threat to their competition who might have a difficult time matching their chemistry. Corner of shotgun drop kick. Making up speed off the rope. Placing them into the corner. Forearm to the jaw. down. They finish each other's sentences. They finish each other's moves. That's tag team excellence right there, gentlemen. Sends her to the outside. The wheels are turning. Suicide dive. That is the attitude of a daredevil. The ability to take risks with minimal trepidation. No fear, absolute reckless abandon. Nice arm drag. Cutting off the offense with a nasty chop block. Able to get there in time. Oh, this, what a 
headbutt. Hammering down on the knee. Top rope, here we go. Wait, wait, is she? Yep, looking for the submission. And the ropes break this one up. Great ring awareness there. Ooh, Becky just aggressively going after that arm. That will be a blow to Chelsea's confidence. Yeah, Becky looked as locked in as ever there. Oh, target in the arm. This has oh. got to hurt. Having a weakened arm can limit you in so many ways, making it harder to execute on even simple attacks. Big fight right into the buckle. Oh, look at the start of this. Could be going into the playbook for submission. Applying force. Trying to show how bad she wants to stay in this match. And she's stunned in the corner. Pinpointing the leg. Punishing the leg. Wrestling 101. If you can't stand, you can't fight. Made her pay. For her mistake. Chelsea had that well scouted. Driven down with an elevated flatliner. Precarious position for this superstar's opponent. But look at them just pounding away on their opponent's back. And what next? Canadian Destroyer! Plenty of harsh words have been exchanged behind the scenes leading up to this match. Now they can finally get down to business. But all that joins have the fun, if you ask me. And a well-placed insult can help get inside a rival's head. Partner tags in. Jordan. Close line! Off with their head. Yeah. With the counter. Placed into the corner. Dismantling the arm in the corner. Gotta hurt. Hard to grab or apply a proper hold after a move like that. Oh, God! Uh-oh, uh-oh, that's a free fall. Becky in full control here. Manhandle slam. Into the pin attempt. Viper could be moments away from being beaten. with all the momentum on her side. Lynch is backing up her words here. In full control here, face first. She's losing some steam now. These two teams have gone to war, Cole. Of course, they're gonna wind up with a few battle scars. She sent flying into the corner. She's pumping herself up, looking to end this. Slam. Lynch is done. Makes a cover. Kicking out in time. Really had less than a second to stay alive there. Chelsea Green about to close this one down. Locking up the arms from behind. I'm prettier. Chelsea Green got all. going on here. Ah, oh, some taunting going on. You know, I can't say I'm surprised. 